Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Thursday, August 8th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree, all is welcome. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we got some day action to help your weekday here. So no waiting around 105 Eastern, 1005 AM Pacific in our nation's capital. It's the Washington Nationals hosting the San Francisco Giants. It's game four of four, the wraparound game here, early start, likely a quick one here as San Francisco. Something to note here, guys, flies home for a game tomorrow. No off day for travel against the Tigers. Get that one circled on tomorrow's card. But uh, hey, they're hovering right around 500. They got Kyle Harrison, the lefty on the hill, commanding a minus 115 price tag here as the short road favorite. Up against DJ Hertz, also a Southpaw. Battle of Southpaws, total of nine. Nationals, what, about 10 games under 500. They got the 23-year-old uh, drafted out of high school, the rookie. He's actually got solid numbers, Hertz does, on the season. 4-2 ERA, 59-13 to 13 strikeout to walk ratio. The thing here is the Giants offense, we've talked about it before, guys, if you watch the show. They have lefty-righty dichotomy to the positive here. They're the number two offense overall. Their bats see lefties well. Uh, they're just 17th against righties by weighted runs created plus. So I'm looking to bet on the Giants against lefties. And Harrison, uh, he's also a young kid, 22 years old, drafted out of De La Salle High School, 4 ERA on the season. And last time he went against the Nationals earlier this year, he had an 8-0 to zero strikeout to walk ratio. I like that past performance. The Nats had trouble seeing him. Could see it happen again here. I think this number's short. We get it minus 115. That's as the Giants' short road favorite. And uh, yeah, guys, we're going to lay the 15 cents here uh, as the low water mark heading into the overnight market. So it's Giants over Nats to lead us off. We've got 410 Eastern up next, heading a mile high. We've talked about this, uh, this series each and every game so far on the show. Had some success out the gate. It's the Mets at the Rockies in Coors Field. It's Austin Gomber versus David Peterson going for the Metropolitans. Battle of Southpaws again, minus 155, anywhere from minus 150 to minus 160. That's the Mets as the road favorite, total of 11. Mets come in, what, five games over 500. We just need to recap it real quick, guys. They were in New York. They went out to L.A., then to St. Louis for just one game. Now in Colorado, they go on the road to Seattle up next. But there's no off day for travel. This is a tough spot. I think it's catching up to them. We saw Colorado win a uh, a big one. Nice plus price for us in game one. And this one, I mean, David Peterson for the Mets starter, he's been a guy we've been betting on. I mean, he's 5-1 and one on the season, 3-4 ERA, the former first rounder out of Oregon, the former Duck. Something to note when pitching in Coors Field, he's never pitched in Coors, which is kind of a fade for us. We'll see how he does, because overall, I like betting on Peterson. Colorado does struggle against lefties, but this setup kind of sets up. You know, we talked about hold your nose special with the Rocks. Um, I, I don't disagree with it, you know, from a sidewise, but even more so, guys. I mean, the Mets have had a couple games here in the thin air. I think that their offense, which is great against lefties. I mean, overall this season, a top three lineup against Southpaws. I actually think they're going to get to Austin Gomber. The rock starter, the 30-year-old out of FAU, the former Al. Hoo, 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 hoo. Decent numbers. Four ERA, four FIP. He has been up and down, though, against some of the better lineups, which I would rate the Mets as a better lineup. He has struggled. So with, with that Rockies bullpen as well, ranking near the bottom, we get a total of 11. Hey, it's day action in Colorado. Looks like nice weather. Um, I, I I like Colorado as a side, but for record-keeping purposes, guys, let's go up and over the 11. That's the, the Mets and the Rockies. Next one up, we got 7 o'clock Eastern. L.A. Angels. L.A. Angels of Anaheim, I believe is the correct way to put it. Versus the New York Yankees in Yankee Stadium. Marcus Stroman going for the Bronx Bombers. Tyler Anderson, the lefty, going for the Halos. Total of nine. Yankees minus 260 home favorites. Now, they did overtake uh, the Orioles. They're neck and neck here in the AL East. It's going to be a fun race down the stretch. Uh, the Yankees have been playing good baseball. Uh, the Angels, you know, they got that double header on Wednesday. So something to note here is kind of bullpen availability. Uh, the second game has not gone off just yet, but uh, definitely going to do some research in that. I'll be in the comments, guys, uh, with any updates on this one. So it's the... 
third game in two days and breaking down the starter here for the angels the first rounder out of oregon tyler anderson three flat era he went five innings one earned run against the yankees earlier this season so pretty good performance there now the yankees are hitting better we got to note that but they got stroman on the hill first rounder out of duke seven earned runs last time out he was up against the blue jays didn't make it out of the third inning he's not a guy i'm really looking to bet on I, I could see him struggling in the Yankees offense, some about lefty-righty dichotomy. They're the number one hitting lineup against righties, but they're just kind of middle of the pack against lefties. They get a lefty here, a pretty good one in Anderson. Hey, uh, minus 260, you know, the Yankees might win this, but it comes down to betting numbers, guys, in Major League Baseball, and we get plus 230, risk 100 to win 230. If the Angels can pull this one off, they got the slight bullpen edge as well. Let's go with the big dog. Angels plus 230 listing Anderson as the starter. It'd be a nice one if we could cash that. We got 707 Eastern up next. We'll go from New York to Toronto, north of the border. AL East matchup here with the, the Baltimore Orioles and the Toronto Blue Jays. We get Kevin Gosman on the hill for the Jays. Dean Kremer going for the O's. Orioles minus 120 road favorites, total of nine. Orioles 20 games over 500. Uh, Kremer on the hill, the 28 year old out of UNLV, the former Rudd and Rebel, decent numbers overall. Uh, you know, 4 3 ERA, a little over that in terms of the fit metrics. He's up against Gosman that has won four straight starts, the first rounder out of LSU, but he struggled against this Baltimore lineup. He went six innings, six earned runs, three home runs given up on June 3rd, the last time he faced the Orioles. So they've seen him well. The Orioles lineup. You know, top five since the All-Star break. They're number two against righties. They do have a bullpen edge here. It's not something I love, guys, but, uh, hey, listing Kremer as the starter, minus the 20 cents, I think the Orioles get it done north of the border. We'll jump on Baltimore over Toronto. One game left. A reminder, if you could comment below, it helps out the algorithm, guys. Anything is welcome. Feel free to fire out any questions. We'll answer them on this week's show. Let me know what you're looking to bet. And uh, yeah, all is welcome below. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. If you're interested in premium picks, check them out. Wagertalk.com. We got uh, premium packages available, college football, NFL, and of course, Major League Baseball. We got the uh, two months. Uh, you get one month free. So check that deal out. All is available. Drew Martin, wagertalk.com. All right, last game up, 7.15 Eastern time. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the St. Louis Cardinals. Shane Baz on the hill for the Rays. Kyle Gibson going for the Redbirds. St. Louis minus a dollar and a quarter, total of eight. This is the final game of the series, should set up as a quick one. And they got Baz on the hill, the Rays starter, first rounder out of high school, 25 year old. When he's healthy, he's been good. He's just not pitched all that much in MLB because he's been on the shelf. He's had back to back solid starts. I have in my notes look to be betting on him 96, 97 miles per hour. He's up against Gibson, the first rounder out of Missouri. Great career, you know, solid, he, he, decent numbers, four ERA, four FIP. Um, the Cardinals offense has struggled a little bit. You know, out of the All Star break, they're uh, bottom five in Major League Baseball. Both of these bullpens rank top 10 by my metrics. Actually, the Rays, you know, they were kind of sellers there at the uh, trade deadline, but they've been playing decent baseball. And a big reason why is their bullpen. Um, it also kind of translates into this total, guys. The Rays, four straight unders coming into Wednesday night. We got uh, St. Louis, three straight unders. They've struggled offensively. Those two good bullpens and two starters, I think, can have quality starts here. I don't think we get to eight runs. It's, it's eight flat plus 100 on the under, so don't have to lay any juice there. Just risk 100 to win 100. That's on the under eight, Rays and Cardinals. In recap, we're on the Orioles, minus 120. The Halos, plus 230. Big dog over the Yankees. We got the Mets and the Rockies up and over 11. And we'll go best bet for the show. San Francisco Giants, minus the 115, listing Kyle Harrison as the starter. That does it for Drew's Daily Diamond for Thursday. Short slate, early games, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Comment below, smash that like button. Stay tuned for Friday's show. Until then, cash those tickets.